Okay, so here is one of my first enamel pins. It's a Be Kind to Your Mind one. I'm actually going to do a collection of this, so a little daisy has fallen on Bumblebutt's head. It's going to be a fairly large pin. It's not going to be this big, but it's probably going to be around two inches big. Uh, I'm thinking I always, all my Bumblebutt pins have like, um, or some of them have glitter in the wings, so I'm going to ask for glitter in this wing. Uh, we've also got some screen printing. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm going to have a little bit more of a play with the colours of this one. Mind you, looking at it now with fresh eyes, sometimes when you step away with it and come back to it, it looks nice. And then my second design is going to be a simple Citrus the Cat one. Um, oops, and I am um, normally Citrus has these lines here, but this is already going to be screen printed. So, uh, those who work with enamel pins rather than having enamel around here, you can ask for it screen printed, but it does cost more. Uh, I'm going to finish up the designs for them get all the colours ready and send that off to the manufacturer. Okay, so here's my finished designs so that I'm going to send the manufacturer. We've got the front just here. I decided to fill this in gold because I think when it's shiny uh, in person, this will look super pretty with the shiny gold enamel. I'm going to experiment with back stamping the back of the plate. And then this is the final Be Kind to Your Mind one as well these are the final colors that i've set it with, uh, settled on i'm going to do this kind of iridescent looking color inside the wings this is going to be a fairly large pin but i think will look really really nice on like a coat or like a tote bag or something like that and i want the writing to be really easily readable so these are going to be the same size as my massive bumblebutt ones truth be told they were a little too big when they arrived and um, they were absolutely huge i was like oh my gosh i didn't realize the size but we have so this was the first ever official bumblebutt enamel pin that we got got a few left in there these used to sell out all the time it's so cute uh, and then these are two inches so that's a big chunky size uh, the flower ones work really well i think actually this is bigger than two inches um but yeah these are like huge boys so these are the other bumblebutt ones that are absolutely <laughs> massive uh quite big but they look great they're like a proper statement piece on like a jacket and as you can see all the bumble butt has iridescent glitter i don't know if you can see in the wings or so super sparkly in the wings and then this is satsuma so satsuma is two inches i think this is 1.5 inches actually so i'm really excited for citrus to come along uh, and citrus is going to be probably like a little bit smaller maybe an inch uh or around this size actually but yeah that's my satsuma the cat and owl pin, which looks so cute. Okay, so I have finished answering my emails and I am just about to design some new products. I'm working in collaboration with a manufacturer, which I'll let you know a little bit more about in detail a bit later. I need to change the battery on this camera. But I'm thinking of doing an acrylic washi stand with my characters. So I'm gonna sketch up some designs in my sketchbook and then I'm gonna design them on Procreate. And then I'm gonna have a look at some keychains as well. So let's get our sketchbooks out. I'm gonna also try my new mechanic pencil that I got the other day. So let's get our sketchbooks out shall we?
got a roll of new backdrops printed out so normally to do my photography backdrops I just print out onto A3 sheets of paper like a solid block colour but I decided I want to really up my reels and Instagram and I've been seeing really aesthetic reels and stuff and I thought it'd be cute to add like a nice backdrop and I've also had the idea of adding like a scene as a backdrop and getting it printed but I ordered from printed.com for a zero sheets of just like plain poster paper because it worked out cheaper than buying the actual backdrops like a vinyl backdrop um, and it's just a solid colour printed out but I'm a little worried because I think they've printed the same colour because they said something was wrong with the file they have and they've come crumbled it's a good job these aren't like proper orders they've come all like scrunched up in the thing but look how crumpled they are in there it's a good job it's not like for my walls or anything. So now I've got four lilac sheets. I'm gonna take a picture of them and send that to them. Anyway, yesterday I designed the brand new washi tape um, this like holders that we're gonna do. So I'll show you the sketchbook. And um, you know when you design something, you just really love how it turned out. Uh, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with how it turned out. It looks so, so cute. So let me show you that. You probably will have seen it a little bit. I'm sorry, there's lots of people. There's so much noise going on. So this was the idea for the design. Originally, I was going to have Bumblebutt's butt on the back, but I'm just going to have it double printed but flipped. Um, and you put, it's like a stand that you put your washi tapes on. I had the idea of doing Gingy in a pile of presents. And then I had the idea of doing Froggo, because Froggo is normally a September character that I bring out. And then this was an idea for a keychain. And this is what I've been working on for the keychain. I thought it'd be really, really cute for a set of keys. And it's going to match the enamel pin that I've designed as well. And then this was the washi dispenser design. I just really like how this illustration turned out. So that would be the first one. And then if you can see, that's how the stand would look. And then I might get like green grass on the bottom printed uh, just there. So really happy with that one. And then I did a frog one as well, which I think will look really cute on my desk. Because I was thinking, what would I like to see on my desk? And how would I like it like, you know, to look with my washi tapes on? And then this is the, the frog one. So I'm just really, really, really happy. And look at the little fishes. So I wanted it to be like a lily pad. I know the lily pad's pink, but because the frog was green and this was green, I needed like a contrasting colour so I made the lily pad pink and then this is kind of just like a ribbon from the lily pad going down and connecting and then little fishies in the pond underneath so I might when I put this into Photoshop make this like a transparent blue and see if they can do like a frosted blue or uh, blue acrylic or anything like that I don't know if they'll be able to do that uh, so I'm really happy and then this is the keychain so yeah I'm really really happy with how they've turned out it just feels really great you know when you design something sometimes it can go one way or the other you can design stuff and think I'm not happy with this and then the weirdest thing is right is when I design something that I love it normally isn't a good seller it's like a running joke I've mentioned this before and then when I design something that I'm like oh I'm not feeling it but it's better than not doing it at all uh you know done is better than perfect because if you're waiting for perfect it'll never happen those are the ones that normally sell really well you know that you're a bit like iffy with so I don't know, we'll see. I'm probably buzzing about these designs and they might not even be a good seller. It's really odd. Oh my gosh, guys. I have been, honestly, the world's worst vlogger in these last vlogs. So, so I've been getting some comments on some of my last vlogs and I want to apologise first and foremost for them just like cutting off because what I've been doing on these vlogs is I've just been hitting record while I'm at work and like amalgamating a bunch of footage so i've actually just caught up to the vlog now oh and i've just like got this whole mash of footage and i've they've been like getting really long and short so i've had to just like cut it off so i apologize for being a bad vlog it's actually been several days since i last actually spoke on the studio vlog but i did want to share with you the update of the washi stands they turned out so so cute i will pop on the screen what the manufacturer sent to me i'm really excited to get these in stock the keychain looks super super cute i'm really really excited i actually sent off for a bunch of keychains some of the old designs that i already had i repurposed those designs and i basically thought well why not make them into keychains because they're already like a popular character and one of the keychains actually was a pumpkin pudding dog which was a special marshy mail over on our patreon when we used to do marshy mail so i'm really excited about those four keychains and the washi tape stands 
I am literally so excited about these, honestly. And I actually thought to myself, these designs would actually make a really, really cool bookmark. So I might actually send off for bookmarks as well because of the, the length of them. And I haven't updated bookmarks in my store for ages. Anyway, excuse me looking like a sugar snap pea today. I'm wearing like a full on jogger suit. I got it on offer from Asda. It says, don't hate, meditate. I love this groovy writing. I thought it was so catnip, so I bought it. I literally haven't worn a jogger set. I don't think ever, actually. I've never owned a jogger set. Um, I literally look like a sugar snap pea, but when I say I'm comfy, I'm literally the comfiest I've ever been. We're having like a random cold spell here. It's like 14 degrees outside. So I thought, I can't wait for autumn and getting really, really cozy. I want to show you some really exciting new products that have just arrived and I need to design packaging for. But first of all, I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to our sponsors today, Skillshare, for continuing to be one of the best partners on this channel and sponsoring today's video. I have literally loved Skillshare. It is a great online learning community filled to the brim with online classes for you guys to choose from. Honestly, there is so many different classes you can take from lifestyle to business like this, to photography, to Etsy businesses. And I know a lot of you guys come to my channel to get some tips and stuff and just kind of see what a day in the life of a small business owner is. You guys would really, really love Skillshare, I feel like, if you're anything like me. I actually first found out about Skillshare through watching other studio vloggers and I initially went on Skillshare to kind of see about art and illustration but I honestly have found so many different classes. The ones that I really, really enjoy at the minute, there's some classes by Ali Abdal, which I've been absolutely loving. I really like the kind of personal lifestyle classes that they've got on there as well, because that always links in a business and like improving yourself, like personal improvement helps you be more creative. I remember I took also classes by Draw With Jazza. He's probably one of the biggest artist YouTubers here on YouTube. And he did classes about how to grow YouTube. And I remember taking this and it got me so freaking pumped. I feel like I really upped my YouTube game by taking some of these classes. If you guys would like to try it out, they're offering the first thousand people to click in the link in my description, a free month of Skillshare. Honestly, you, I think you guys would really like it. Let me know as well in the comments if you took a Skillshare class that you really enjoy. I'd really love to hear it because I would be curious of taking them too. And a huge thank you again for Skillshare for continuing to be an absolutely amazing sponsor for this channel. Now I really want to show you these new exciting hair grips that arrived, a new product that is something that's very different to catnip but also ties in with catnip so let me show you. So over here we have got our very first wholesale product which is these hair grips and actually I have been keeping this by my desk. Also it just looks really cute like on your desk is like a decor piece don't you think but i've been keeping this on my desk and scraping my hair up because i've got short hair whenever i'm doing my editing work i've been using i'm going to call this catnip pink because i mean can you get a more catnip pink than that it actually matches my wall like what the heck so i'm actually going to call this catnip pink but i am obsessed with these hair grips and i've seen these and thought these are so catnip i would love to add these as like a cat topper i ended up getting a few different colors this one is personally my favorite the catnip pink but we've also got like a brighter pink we've got this yellow which is really stunning kind of like contrasts against my green jogger set right now blue color We've got this purple colour. Pretty sure we have a green as well. You can see it there. It's kind of the same as what I've been wearing a lot lately. Like this lime green. So these are all the colours that I ended up getting. And I just thought, these are so catnip. I can't believe it. So we've got blues. We've got pinks. We've got yellows. And I just absolutely love them. And I've been wearing this one. I've literally got it in my hair right now. Uh, and keeping it, like I say, by my desk. Can you see it? I've literally got the pink one in my hair right now. Actually, I feel like I should wear the yellow one because that would go. Uh, but I absolutely love them. Oh, I've got another colour pink as well. So I've actually got more than these. But these are like the catnip colours that I picked. And it's the first time I've ever really done anything like this before. Because all of the products in my store are ones that I have designed 
brand myself and I've manufactured and I haven't wholesale or done kind of like a retail-y type thing before but this is like my first kind of retail product so I'm really excited because I think these will make a great addition to the store they look really catnippy let me know if you want me to do more some retail-y things I was thinking kind of of expanding it so if you're in the store and you're already paying for like the shipping and say you're buying a hat and this would go or a t-shirt and apparel and this would go really cute with the new t-shirts and jumpers that we're going to get in then I thought it's a great cart topper uh, to add and they're also really catnippy and I just absolutely fell in love with them and I have been loving my little cliff so I'm really excited about them but I do want to add a little bit of catnip mag uh, magic and package them they came kind of all together but then a couple have been sent individually bagged but I'm going to put them uh, to protect them in like a, a compostable cello or maybe even a glassine bag glassine bags are somewhere over in the shipping section uh, so I initially thought to put them in something like this and have them kind of like folded over ah there they are <laughs> big sign saying glassine bags on the side let me see if they fit in here because this could be a good option if they're in a glassine let me try it out so I was thinking wonder, oh this would actually fit so let's slide the glassine Actually, I might be able to get them in a glassine bag. I don't know. It's a bit tight, actually. Oh, uh, oh. oh, it's kind of a tight squeeze, if I'm being honest. Okay, so it doesn't fit in the, these glassine bags. I could always get bigger ones, but I have already got loads of these compostable cellos. Slide it in here and then fold the top. I was going to have like a thing across the top, like a folded piece of card saying catnip and they would come like that. Yeah. So I was thinking of having the banner across the top there. It would also be good, yeah, for me to wholesale them too. Or we could put them, I suppose, imagine that's a card. Oh no, I don't think that'll work because then they'll be open like that. Hmm. I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to measure the size of this and I'm going to do a little experiment. So it is 12 centimetres we need. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just winging it. That's, that's how I tend to design it. I'm going to get open Photoshop. I'm going to experiment with the packaging. Okay, so I've decided rather than using some compostable cellos, maybe I could do just like a piece of card or something with my design on it. <laughs> Excuse the bad writing. So it was like this, but more uh, like the design of my other stuff like this. Obviously it'd be like pink or something uh, and it's on a card. But the problem with this is we'd have to cut this little pocket window out individually um to hold it but it would look really pretty i feel like in the orders or we could keep them out like this but add a tag so the other day on my patreon exclusive vlog we actually designed these tags and um, this is just a test print that i did on plain paper to make sure it looks okay uh, we did these tags for the clothing range and we did just like a generic tag so I didn't have to buy separate tags for each and every design so then I thought maybe I could just add the tag to to the accessories but <laughs> I didn't have any twine or anything um I only had this rubber band uh, I do actually think this looks like the best like this is my favorite oh, maybe I should do a little test of this as well oh no but then it's like all crumpled and stuff I feel like this is probably going to be the best option. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I think I'm going to go with the tag option. Speaking of tags, I think the new tags have just arrived for the clothes that I ordered last week. 
Yay! There it is. I think, yeah, these are going to be too big to use on the hair clips. So my test print's actually a little bigger than the actual thing. I think these turned out really cute. I also opted for rounded corners so that I didn't opt around them myself. Maybe just a smaller tag on these would be better. I don't know. Anyway, worst vlogger on HOD again goes to me because my SD card has run out. I've literally got about seven SD cards and they're all full. The other ones are full of personal vlogs that I haven't edited yet and I need to transfer them to some sort of hard drive. And the other ones are just full because I went away in Peggy at the weekend and did an Alton Towers trip, which will be on my personal channel for those of you who don't follow me over on my personal channel definitely go check it out it's going to be really fun it's going to come out in the next couple of weeks but i am actually going to end this vlog here because it's just been like all over the place honestly i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one when hopefully we'll have this tag situation sorted out all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye